Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey. My name is Cameron and I'm so glad that you decided to click on this video. If you have some time, go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. And if you decide that you like me and my content, go ahead and click that red subscription box below to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, y'all, so it's a brand new week. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new vlog. <laughs> Anyways, it is homecoming, hence why I am dressed up on this fine Saturday morning. It is Saturday, October 14th, and it's homecoming at HSU, Henderson State University, and we are headed there now. I'm kind of late because my friend said that they were leaving at 11, and it's going on 11.30, but I had to untwist my hair, and I think the style came out so cute. I did a twist and curl with perm rods. I'm trying to get back into my natural state. This is how I'm looking. Let me go over to this mirror and show y'all my full fit. Okay y'all, so this is my full fit. I have this Delta Sigma Theta shirt gifted by my dad. It is so cute. I love the blinginess. It's just the right amount of pop. I have these jeans from Fashion Nova. They're very old, but they're cute because it's kind of nippy outside. I was going to wear shorts, but the cold, mm mm. Mama can't do it, auntie can't do it, no ma'am. And then I have my red chucks. I usually always wear these during homecoming because I know they'll get dirty and I'm fine with that. Then I just have my cute little shades from Amazon. And this is kind of like an accessory that I'm gonna put on top of my fro, just in case it's not very sunny. It's an added accessory. This is how I am looking and I already packed my bag and put it in the car. So we're getting ready to head out. All right y'all, so we made it to Arkadelphia. I didn't go over to Henderson yet. I came over to my line sister's house, but I am thinking that I'm just gonna switch y'all over from this big camera to the little baby, the one that I just bought last vlog. I'm gonna switch over to this and leave y'all in the car and capture some great moments. So see y'all in the next clip. I'm outside in a damn jeep, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me. I'm toe up already. Me and school right here. This school right here. Yes. Oh, we toe up already. I'm outside in it. All right, y'all, so we are back where we started. We made it home safely. I thank the Lord so much for allowing us to make it back home safely. I don't regret going. 
that's one thing because I really wasn't trying to go in the beginning like this week I really wasn't trying to go down there but I think it was well worth it this time this little baby right here but she was everywhere with me she was everywhere with me today and that's how y'all got the content that y'all got it may be a little bit different it's much more of a wider screen but it's content content is content i don't know if it captured the greek show well enough though we made it home y'all and i'm sleepy yeah i think my curls held up very well today maybe i should do a tutorial for y'all on this twist and curl because it's so cute just pick y'all up just to tell y'all that we made it home and i'm about to get undressed unwind and wait for kobe to get home child i don't know hopefully he makes it home safely so i'm gonna go put my pjs on and i will talk to y'all tomorrow reservations online in center or in our easy to use app Yep. Hey guys, it is Sunday afternoon. As you seen in the previous clip, I was trying to book a last minute wax appointment by calling. And of course, nobody answered the phone. So I went ahead and booked online. So that is where we're headed. I woke up feeling, I don't know, I don't know how I'm feeling. My emotions are really just everywhere. And it's crazy because I had a good time with my friends last night, but today I woke up like on the opposite side. So I'm just trying to get it together, get it together. So, so going to get a wax and going to the grocery store because we need groceries in the house for this week. Those are the two things that I plan on doing and I'm taking y'all with me. So let's go. Hi, how are you? All right, y'all, our wax is completed and now we are headed back to our side of town. That was so country. <laughs> we're headed back to our side of town and we're going to the grocery store. It looks like while we were in the wax center, it rained. It rained quite a bit, but it stopped raining. Thank you, Lord, because I didn't want to mess my hair up. Now we are off to Kroger. <laughs> the baby section because because I know Mia likes these type of treats I'm not sure which one and they're on sale so that's why I was gonna get some okay these are the ones I have a coupon for so this is the one I'm getting So we just made it back home and I'm gonna give y'all a little grocery haul of all the items that I got. I got a pineapple. I found that Kroger has the best like grapes. I got a pack of green grapes and I got red grapes. Seedless of course. And while we're still on fruit, I got some bananas. Also got a pack of variety frozen fruit because I like to make these for my smoothies as well as a smaller pack. I got 
some Parmesan cheese. I grabbed some potatoes. These are my mini snacks that I like to make. Then I grabbed some asparagus, a bell pepper, got Welch's um, fruit snacks. Like I showed y'all in the store, I got these little variety baby food. I don't know. This is stuff that Mia likes. So I bought these for her. And then I got two packages of ground beef. Then I got um, a pound of shrimp. Bacon was on sale this week too. So I got a small thing of heavy whipping cream. And then I got a large jar. Well, really this might be like a medium size, but I got a jar of garlic. Oh, I also forgot I got some Scott tissue. I got a 42 count pack of chips. And then I got a case of water. So yeah, that's, that is what I got from Kroger today. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff up and start cooking. All right, y'all, so y'all see me unpack the groceries. I cooked and I cleaned the kitchen up. Started a new show, Unprisoned on Hulu with Kerry Washington and forgive me, but I don't know that man's name. He's been in the game long enough, but we started that show and it's pretty fun. I picked y'all up because I am about to wind down and this is a new thing that I started. I actually started it last week. I got this planner. I've been had this planner, but I really haven't utilized it. I haven't put it to use. Last week I mapped out all of the content for the rest of this month. Today is the 15th. Y'all should know by now a vlog went up and it was the wedding prep vlog also if y'all watch this new vlog that went up tonight you see that there is a new intro i made that intro this past week as well i'm very proud of it i kind of stepped out of just the text-based intro and I, I went a little further i included some little clips of me talking in previous videos but in the new intro i told y'all that i am aiming to upload every sunday and every wednesday so a uh, vlog went up this Sunday and this Wednesday is gonna be the wedding video that um, our videographer put together for us so I'll publish that and go from there it's already scheduled this week is smooth sailing with the videos I actually started working on the other video that's gonna be dropping on the 22nd Lord's will so I just planned out the rest of the videos for this month so I have one to three videos remaining for the rest of this month but like I said this week's videos are already you know scheduled and posted so I'm very happy about that for next week I have one vlog a self-care night in type of video and then I have to shoot a hair tutorial like I told y'all I am trying to get back to the natural me and it's not like anybody asked for it <laughs> but I feel like it will be good content because it's me. I actually sat down last week and I planned out my content for the rest of the year honestly. I really have mapped out like majority of you know my content for November and December as well. Pretty much mapped out. I just have to sit down and make time to shoot and film for all of this because it's a lot but I'm glad I have these ideas flowing through my head. We're just gonna go from there. I mean we're just winging this whole content creation thing. My main goal is just to be consistent and just to share my life with you guys because from a consumer of content it seems like everybody's life is in order like everybody's life is together like they have everything together and it seems like nobody goes through anything either it's like you know the big youtubers they just they just shop and travel that's all they show you shopping and traveling but I want to be more authentic on my channel showing y'all that you know I have bad days as well as good days you know showing y'all the realities of my life so hopefully y'all are into that and y'all like it and maybe we reach more people because we're almost at a thousand subscribers we are we are almost at a thousand subscribers and the closer we get the more giddy i get because i could not believe it like what even though i have been on youtube for two years it's just like if i reach a thousand subscribers i'm like wow i have a thousand subscribers like a majority of them are people that i don't even know what 
I don't know. But I just want to sit and chat with you guys tonight before I call it a night. I just want to wind down. I do need to read my Bible because I haven't picked it up in a few days. And I just feel like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed because I haven't had much communication with the Lord. I done put him on a back burner and I know that this is why I've been feeling how I've been feeling. And he's trying to call me and pull me closer. He's trying to pull me back. And I'm, I'm listening, Lord. So I do need to sit down and read my Bible and just go from there. I will see y'all tomorrow, which will be the next clip. Good night. Good morning guys. So it's Monday morning. I'm dressed because I have to go into work and I'm bringing you guys along with me. This will be a first. Y'all coming with me. I'm about to grab me some fruit, a water, and my purse and we're going to head out the door. <music> So I made it home. I hope y'all enjoy the little snippets. Look at my gal Falfa up here. As you can hear, I'm warming up some food from last night because I am hungry. I am hungry. It's a 144 and I did not eat. I didn't eat anything but that banana. Proud of myself, but it is time to eat. y'all so i am still working i kind of look like a grease ball right now but it is 4 18 and i just stopped for a little break i plan on going to zumba today at 5 30 so that means i need to go ahead and make my smoothie if i can get ready i like to have a smoothie before i go to zumba this is my new thing i've just started this like i just started this last week i believe i'm gonna make a smoothie thank god we want to go get that fruit yesterday because i was completely out kobe had some of these still in the freezer and they're open so i'm gonna use those and then a little bit of the newer fruit that we bought yesterday but work has been hectic today i'm not sure why well i am sure why it's quarter in and then and then i'm in charge of new things so it's a lot of learning and i just feel like i'm rushing right now i don't think anybody talks about the struggle in learning new things for work wanting it to be done correctly but then having a due date it's like you don't really have time to get adjusted before you have to submit something at least that's how it is for me i just want everything to be done correctly you know that's the type of person i am well i don't know if i'm gonna use these strawberries these look like they are they have frostbite or something like that i'll leave them for him this this smells fresh Ooh, that's too much fruit oh my gosh now that's too little. All right. I'm not gonna eat all of that. You don't eat a smoothie, you drink it. I'm not gonna drink all of that. Should I put some back? This is how it is. I wonder if I should put some back. So this is a new item. It's like a powder or whatever that I put in my smoothie. I know it's not pre-workout or anything like that, but I've been putting it in my smoothie and I really like it. It gives it like a very sweet taste. So I just put one scoop of that in there and I grab my handy dandy water bottle and I go ahead and pour. I pour water in there until it's like up to the max line. That way it won't clog up the blender. And then I just go ahead and close it, screw the lid on, and then I shake to make sure that the that everything is mixed in well. And I just grab my Nutribullet. So I gotta take it out and reshake. And boom, here's my smoothie. Let's do a first taste. Usually I cheers alcohol with y'all, but I'm gonna cheers my smoothie with y'all today. Cheers. Mm. 
so good I don't really know if I like mangoes. I think this is like my first time having mangoes and it is so good. Mm. I did that right there. I did. It took me nine minutes to make that smoothie. It is 429. I don't need to drink that too fast. Give myself a brain freeze. I don't like to waste nothing. Everything is money, so I have to pour that. All right, so I'm gonna work for the last 30 minutes where I have to go and get dressed for Zumba. Hopefully I will have all of this down, but if not, I guess I can save it for later. And that's how I make my smoothie. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, y'all, so it is the end of the work day. Y'all already see where we are. We are back in the vehicle because it is Zumba time. I don't know if I wanna bring y'all with me because I brought you with me. That would have been like three videos ago. I don't know how I'm gonna map this all out. Should y'all come along? Do y'all wanna see me dance in Zumba? I feel like my face is just looking so dry since I wiped that makeup and stuff off. It probably is, but who cares? We're about to go sweat it off. Anyway, so let's head to Zumba. <laughs> I only burned 400 something calories and that's only because I forgot to start it in the beginning of class y'all I was too worried about starting y'all making sure y'all got some footage and didn't even set my freaking watch what kind of mess is that that was a rookie move as you can see I am sweaty and just tired out it was a good class um, but now I'm about to head home and take a shower and just relax so I will probably see y'all in the next clip I think I've had y'all with me all day Day. I think y'all are probably tired of seeing me right now. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Y'all, I don't know why I lied to y'all like that. This is a vlog, okay? This is a vlog and I'm getting y'all the content. I don't know if you want it, but maybe you're gonna get this quality content. This is my life. We're in the house, we made at home. I just wanna admit, y'all, it is a struggle. Yes, I am married. Yes, my husband is active in the house. But times when he's gone like this because he travels for his job. He was in Florida last week. This week he is in Fayetteville, I believe. In times like this, I just wish I had a daddy or a brother close to me because I do not want to take out no trash. <laughs> last week we missed trash day because I said I'm gonna get up and do it in the morning. I'm gonna get up and do it in the morning. Maybe I overslept last Tuesday and we missed trash. But I'm learning my lesson this Tuesday and I'm about to go take the trash out. I hate it. I hate touching trash. I hate it. Just feel like that's a man's job. A man is in gear. I have to do it or it's gonna be stinky. I can't afford to miss trash day again because the trash is all the way at the top. I hate it, y'all. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday evening and I did not pick y'all up all day. This is my first time picking y'all up. I apologize, but y'all, it was a busy, busy day for work. I was glued to my screen all day and I am just exhausted. I don't even wanna look at another computer screen. I have to edit a vlog for Sunday and I don't even wanna open up my computer. But to decompress, I went ahead and went to the gym. Like I said, I did not even pick y'all up. It was just a quick little 45 minute workout and I came home and took a nice hot shower. I exfoliated and lathered up like I just feel so good. But it is going on nine o'clock and I still haven't ate. Um, I ate lunch today, surprisingly, cause usually I don't eat lunch. But I ate lunch today, just ate leftovers for lunch and now that it is dinner time, I don't really wanna cook. I don't really wanna cook so I'm just gonna pop in one of those frozen pizzas that we bought Sunday and just go on from there. Turn on some TV and relax. It's just me and Queen. This is how us girls relax when daddy is gone.
Hey guys, happy Wednesday. The end of the work day, 7.13. And we are going to the fair tonight. Hubby made it back safely, thank you Lord. And he said we can go to the fair, so guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the fair so we can get some food. I don't really care about riding no rides, but get some food. Yes ma'am, yes ma'am, that's right down my alley. So let me grab my jacket and let's go. No good at all. I should be ashamed the way I went in there and ate. Ate like I ain't had no meal today. Guess this is what you do at the fair. Friday, where you at now, friend? Where you at? Where you at? Cause I need you to come on. Come on, you moving a little slow this week. The tad bit slow, I need you to rush on. I don't know what it is with this week, but this week is kicking my tail. It is whooping me up and down the street. I don't know what it is, but y'all, mm -mm. cut the show. I'm done. Cut the show. I'm done. Take me off. Take me off. Because, baby, that's how I feel. Cut this dang on show short this week. I know this isn't a good vlog. I'm so sorry. I know that my energy is off this vlog. I am so sorry. But, man, I tell you, life is life in during this work week. You are getting the real deal this week, okay? I just got back home from work. Really, I sat outside for an hour with Queen, and it started getting dark, so I came back in the house. But what's on the agenda tonight? is my hair. Many may look at my head and be like, oh, ain't nothing wrong with it. It's still cute. But it is in fact a little dry. Heat damage is kind of unraveling. I am going to wash my hair and restyle it because tomorrow I am Kobe's plus one for his work dinner and I want to make sure that I am presenting him well as well as myself. I don't know what we're going to wear yet either. I guess we'll figure that out tomorrow. Friday finally comes, okay? I just had the rest of my tacos from last night from the fair and baby, uh, eat them tacos. They never have to be that good, okay? I'm like, yeah, maybe we should go back and get some more tacos. I know I sound greedy, I know I sound greedy, but man, this is my honest opinion, baby. Them them tacos was busting, and it's only that yellow food truck. This is my second year going to Arkansas State Fair, and the food truck is in the same place. So baby, guess what? Next year, I'll be back, okay? Anywho, I was just letting y'all know what I'm about to do, what I've been doing all day. It has just been a long week. The things that I've had planned to do, I did not get to do them. Like going to the library to turn in our passport packets so we could go ahead and get our passports. We were supposed to do this back in July. Life, life, life. That's all I'm gonna say, life. And that's kind of why I pushed back the honeymoon trip. Because our passports wouldn't have been here in time to go anywhere this year. If the Lord says the same, baby, we got plenty of time to take a trip. It is what it is. Y'all, I just want y'all to know that this week is weakening. I don't even know if that's a word. It's two pieces of me. I don't know if you can see it in my face, but child, I'm ready for Friday. When tomorrow roll around, baby, I need liquor. Give me margaritas. Do even give me Casamigos. And I don't like Casamigos. I run away from Casamigos, literally. But baby, hand it my way because I need it. I need it. Cut the show. 
It's so much I have to do. My nails look a mess, my hair looks a mess. Let's just get ourselves together. All right, y'all, so I know I look washed out, but I decided on not cooking. No, I'm not going back to the fair, but I'm just gonna run on down to Chick-fil-A and get me something to eat because apparently Kobe had a meeting at a restaurant and he didn't notify me and he could have brought me back something to eat but you know i digress i digress let's go to chick-fil-a okay hi how are you hello i'm doing pretty good cam k-a-m hi. hi yes cam cam thank you you too well when i tell y'all y'all just took a huge tumble y'all did thank the lord Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. The only downside is my light broke. Look, can you see? Focus camera. Can you see it's, it's broke? I'm just trying to make sure y'all are in focus. My heart dropped when I seen y'all. But this is how my salad looks. Steady focusing on me. This ain't tonight to be showing y'all. Food just falling. Mm, mm mm. I'm just gonna sit here and eat a little bit. If I don't see y'all later on tonight, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Friday. It's Friday. Sorry if my energy is off, I just woke up, but it is time to start finding something to wear for this dinner. I do not know what I'm gonna wear. Just like that, we're not going anywhere. Unfortunately, I told Kobe to go ahead and leave because I was under the impression that the dinner started at seven, but it started at six. If I would have known that it started at six, no way I would have took that nap. No way, girl. So instead of going out, we are in the house. I'm gonna watch, I don't know, because I'm a Tubi girl, but I haven't seen any good Tubi movies, y'all. I'll pick y'all back up if I decide to do anything. Good morning. Well, it's really afternoon. Y'all already seen me today. Only I was in my bonnet. I did not have my hair out like this and I didn't have my makeup done. Day is Mia's birthday party and we are headed to the birthday party. Um, it starts at one and it's 12.40. I just finished filming a tutorial of how I got my hair like this. So it will definitely be up before this video. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't checked it out already. Let me grab my bag and let's head out of the door. Well y'all, Kobe insisted on us stopping to get a gift. Can show up empty handed now. Not my niece, not mine. Y'all, I found a section that I need to be in and these little dresses are so cute, y'all. So I love this burnt orange one. This is definitely giving fall vibes right here. But you know, denim, you can always wear a good denim. Ooh, they even have the little leather dress too. The thing is, I really don't know what size she wears. That's my only dilemma. I want to get something that she can wear. Ooh, but this burnt orange is right here. It's calling me. It's saying TT can get it. Maybe she could do 18 months. So I want her to wear it now. She need a nice little undershirt to go under it too. Okay, Walmart fashion. We getting somewhere, okay? All right, y'all, so check this out. This is a cute top, y'all. This, this top, stay with me, stay with me. With this denim dress, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, that's stylish right there. Gonna do plain Jane, this white top with this dress. Oh, my girl gonna be styling, yes.
So I just made it home from Mia's birthday festivities. Now it's time to go out. I'm going out with my friends. Trap Karaoke is here in Little Rock this weekend. So I rushed and got dressed. Thank God I already took a shower before I left and you know, I didn't do too much. So all I had to do was freshen up and put on a whole new fit and I did. Let me show y'all how I'm looking. All right, so my light is not very good over here, but honey, I have on this top. This is from my Laura Girl collaboration with Laura Girl. It's actually a set but I just threw on the top because I really didn't have a top to go with anything you know I didn't want anything tight fitting because baby I just ate Honey. I have to hide my stomach child. So I went with this oversized little button up shirt. I have on the shorts from Shein. They very old. I have my Michael Kors little crossbody. Hopefully they let me in. And then I just have on my sandals from Shein. And I have my black glasses. This was a rush job, okay? This was a rush job. But this is how I'm looking. I'm going to transfer y'all over to the little mini camera. And we're going to enjoy our night with our friends. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. Obviously, I'm dressed for church. This is the last day of this vlog because at this point, it's been going on for a week and a day. I took y'all everywhere with me this past week, even when I didn't do anything. I'm gonna take y'all to church with me, too, because if I can take y'all out with me last night, I can take you into the church house, baby. Mm -mm, we not finna do that. We not finna stop here at church. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I don't have any lights on in the house, so hopefully you can still see, but I have this black dressed on with this crop jacket from Target and then I just have on my high top Chuck Taylors and of course I'm gonna be wearing my Glamaholics bag but this is how we are looking it is going on 9 50 and we have to get up out of here because it takes us at least 15 minutes to get to church from where we live <laughs> what they saw. And y'all, this is a good word for you and I as followers of Jesus that we ought to be mindful to treat those who are occasionally absent with a lot of care just because they're afraid or they have questions doesn't mean we ought to ostracize them from Christian community. Doesn't mean you ought to turn your nose up at them and try to act like you've been a faithful Christian who never had any concern or questions. But you ought to be like what the disciples are and you ought to do what the disciples did. And Somebody's struggling with their faith, and you know somebody's having doubts and questions. You are not talking. 
about this, but you ought to run and find it. And tell them about the God who has shown up in your life and who has healed all your diseases and who has sweated your death. You ought to show up for them. That's a good word on this Young Adults Weekend because everybody looks at these the other generations and they say they don't have the faith that we had growing up. And they don't love God the way we love God. They got questions the same way you had questions. And you ought not turn your nose. Alright y'all, so the day has came and went. Y'all see me this morning, y'all went to church with us, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> After church, we went to go get something to eat, but at this point, I feel like we just be eating so much in my vlog, so I didn't even bring y'all out. After that, we came home, and I took a nap. If you can't tell, maybe I was slump. I finished the rest of the video that went up today. So if you didn't get a chance to check out vlog, what is that, 42? Go ahead and check that out after you watch this video. It's been a lazy Sunday, but it was well needed. Y'all made it to the point where I am ended this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it through this whole week in my life, I know it was busy. It's actually a week and a day, but I know it was busy. I know we had fun moments, we had slow moments but i thank y'all for tuning in with me thus far please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed at this point like at this very moment we have a 980 subscribers so we'll be to 1k soon and then you know i gotta get my watch hours up after but we about to hit 1k that's the next milestone so we're gonna take it one day at a time you know we're gonna cruise along because this is a marathon not a race I think that's what it's, I think, I think that's how it is the end go. I don't know. I'm still a little sleepy. Let me go ahead and wrap my mind around having to go to work tomorrow. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all in my next video. All right. Bye.